to watch the latest from India Science, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get notifications on all the science related videos. Winters can be brutal. While most of us are busy wrapping ourselves in thick clothing and turning on the room heaters, some don't seem bothered by the cold. But why do some people better tolerate low temperatures? I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science has to offer, from exciting developments to futuristic solutions. This week, we will talk about why some people are better suited to tackle the brutal winters, the aftermath of the infamous Beirut explosion, and why does a breed of rabbits perform handstands? Let's get started. So if your tolerance to cold temperature is low, you might have some genes to blame. Scientists think a gene named ACTN3 could have something to do with how people respond to cold weather. ACTN3 stands for alpha, actinin protein and is a gene found in the skeletal muscles. According to researchers, individuals who lack the ACTN3 gene are less likely to shiver than those with the gene. They arrived at this theory after studying 42 men aged 18 to 40 years from Europe's Lithuania. All of them were given a task to stay exposed to cold water, 14 degrees Celsius, for a maximum of 120 minutes or until their core body temperature reached 35.5 degrees Celsius. The researchers then split the participants into two groups, those with and without the ACTN3 gene. About 30% of the participants carrying the ACTN3 gene completed the task and stayed exposed to cold temperatures for 120 minutes, while 69% of the ACTN3 deficient individuals could do the same. This suggested that those lacking the ACTN3 gene are less likely to tremble after cold exposure. Researchers think that the loss of ACTN3 gene could be making the muscles more capable of producing heat. This is just a theory for now. Researchers will need to find more evidence to prove that. Besides, we don't know why some people lack the ACTN3 gene. Researchers suspect that the gene might have disappeared after early humans migrated out of Africa and moved into colder regions like Europe and Asia. Moving on to the next story. Do you remember the tragic Beirut explosion that sent shock waves across the world? Just as we were trying to make sense of the COVID-19 pandemic that was sweeping and is sweeping the world, Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, was in the news for human-caused explosion. On 4th August 2020, a warehouse in a port housing 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate exploded, killing hundreds and injuring a thousand others. Ammonium nitrate is used as a fertilizer and as an ingredient for explosives. Rumbles from the explosion were detected by sensors in Tunisia and Germany, and tremors were picked up by seismic stations around 500 kilometers away. Researchers from the National Institute of Technology, Raurkela and Japan's Hokkaido University decided to look at how the blast impacted the ionosphere, a region between the Earth's atmosphere and space. It is about 50 to 400 miles above our planet's surface. The ionosphere contains charged particles, which are gases, whose electrons were stripped off by the sun. In the ionosphere, the researchers measured changes in the electron content. Now, how did they start and how did they do that? A change would cause a delay in microwave signals being transmitted by the GPS satellites to their ground stations. In addition to the blasts, nuclear tests and natural events can disturb the ionosphere electron content. Moving on to story three. You must have seen several handstand videos online, but have you seen rabbits do that? Well, these rabbits aren't into fitness. They perform handstands due to a mutation in a single gene, which is damaging the creature's spinal cord. According to new scientists, a defect in this gene causes a locomotive defect in mice. 
The rabbits in question are a particular breed of domestic rabbits called Sothia de Alfort, also known as Alfort jumping rabbits. These animals use their front paws to walk, keeping their hind legs in the air. Causing these animals to perform handstands was a mutation in the ROB gene. This gene plays a vital role in forming the neurons in the spinal cord that link the left and the right sides of the body, which are essential for coordinating limb movements, the new scientists reported. Now, you might wonder how the researchers identified that ROB gene that was responsible for this. They then scanned and sequenced the genes of the pairs 52 grandchildren to look for mutations. Their analysis showed that the ROB gene was involved. Typically, rabbits hop when they run or move fast. This requires the hind limbs to jump at the same time. But for rabbits with a mutation in the ROB gene, there is no coordination. So they adopt handstands while moving quickly. This is an interesting study. Researchers know that the ROB gene plays a pivotal role in forming the spinal cord and limb movements. This might open up ways to treat diseases caused by a mutation in the ROB gene, the scientists involved in the study said. And with that, friends, this is a wrap of this edition of Science Time. Stay with us every Friday at 9 p.m. Keep watching India Science. Namaskar.